Hi everyone, welcome back to the makeup chair. Today I'm going to talk you guys through a couple of beginner eye makeup mistakes that you could be making and also how to fix them. Don't worry, we have all been there. I've made all these mistakes myself and sometimes if I haven't been wearing a makeup for a while, I can still make these mistakes. So don't worry, practice makes perfect. So let's get started. So the first mistake that I see a lot of people making is not filling in their brows. Brows make a massive difference. Brows are basically the framework for the look that you're trying to create and it will give you that polished finish. By not filling in your brows, you're gonna get an uneven and undone look. It'll never look as good as if you filled them in. By filling them in to start with, this will help you create the shape. And brows don't have to be dramatically filled in, just a little bit of brow gel can go a long way. Next up, you wanna prep the lids. We all have discoloration on the lids, but it's not just about the discoloration. Primer can actually help not only disguise discoloration and give us an even blank canvas to work on, but it'll also give the shadows something to hold on to. It'll make a massive difference to your application. I always say to beginners, invest in a good primer. It'll last you about two years and you'll find that your eyeshadow is gonna go on smoother and last longer for you. You'll definitely get a pro blend if you use a pro primer. When it comes to applying the eyeshadows, don't feel like you have to keep your eyes closed. Keeping them open can actually help you guys figure out the shape that you wanna create, especially for your contour and your mid-tone. A mistake a lot of beginners make is opening and closing up their eyes and trying to squint and see what they're trying to create. And by squinting in this way, you'll end up with a very uneven finish. Looking down in a mirror and lifting up your eyebrows will create a smooth line. And this will help you create that perfect fade, particularly when you're using blending brushes. If you have an eyesight problem like I do, I've actually taught myself to apply my eyeshadows with my eyes closed. It's a technique that takes a lot of practice, but it is something that you can do. It's all about feeling for the shape of your eye and being able to go off the touch rather than the look of it. But just remember, not all eyeshadows need to be applied on closed eyes. Now when it comes to the placement of the shadow, I always tell people to remember that outer edge. To find the outer edge, Use your brush on the edge of your nose, edge of your eye, and brow. And blend in from this point. But if you struggle with this technique and you find it gets everywhere, you can always clean up with a little bit of makeup remover. However, a lot of beginners will be too rough on their eyes. And then when you go to apply your concealer, your foundation, and any other eyeshadows over that area, you've irritated it too much that they will not sit well. So be a lot more gentle with your eye or just use less product and slowly build up the makeup look. Another mistake that I've made in the past is neglecting my lashes. If you have a little bit of fallout on your lashes, use a small mascara wand and a little bit of mascara to brush through. This will create a sharper finish and make your eyelashes look a lot better. And pay close attention to how you're applying your mascara as well. If you're not very good at it, use some false eyelashes. But remember your lashes is that finishing step that shouldn't be skipped. So spend a little bit of time on it. So those are just a couple of mistakes you could be making as a beginner. There's obviously so many other ones to choose from. If you're really struggling with something, I'm here to help, so just leave a comment. If you've learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in a video really soon.